Hi, I'm Cat Ruler of Death, and this is the first episode of my Cat Reads Books in Odd Voices series. Um, today I'm going to be starting Daddy Long Legs, which I don't have in book form, and I don't want to print and kill trees, so I'm going to be looking down a lot. I have it on my netbook. Um, and for the sake of completeness, I'm going to be reading the entire text, which includes all of this legal stuff at the beginning, which I'm going to change accents a lot on, because the legal stuff is really boring. So, let's begin. Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster. The Project Gutenberg e text of Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster. Please look at the important information in this header. That did not make much sense. <laughs> we encourage you to keep this file on your own disk, keeping an electronic path open for the next readers. Do not remove this. Welcome to the world of free, plain vanilla electronic texts. E-text readable by both humans and by computers since 1971. These e-texts are prepared by hundreds of volunteers and donations. Information on Kennedy Project Gutenberg to get e-texts and further information is included below. We need your donations. Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster, August 1994. E-text number 157. FYI, the author is the grand niece of Mark Twain. The Project Gutenberg e-text of Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster. This file be named DLLEG 10.txt or DLLEG 10.zip Corrected editions of our e-texts will get a new number. DLLEG 11.txt versions based on the separate, uh, separate sources will get a new letter. DLLEG 10a.txt Information about Project Gutenberg. This e text was prepared with the use of Calera WordScan Bus 2.0, donated by Calera Recognition Systems 475, Potre uh, Potrero, Sunnyvale, California 94086, I-408- No, that was one. 1-408-720-8300 Mike1 at Calero.com Mike Lynch We are now trying to release all our books one month in advance of the re official release dates for time for better editing. We have this as a goal to accomplish by the end of the year, but we cannot guarantee to say that far ahead every month after that. Please note, neither this list nor its contents are final till midnight of the last day of the month of any such announcement. The official release date of all Project Gutenberg e-texts is at midnight central time, of the last day of the stated month. 
A preliminary version may often be posted for suggestion, comment, and editing by those who wish to do so. To be sure you have an up-to-date first edition, xxxxx10x.xxx, please check file sizes in the first week of the next month. Since our FTP program has a bug that is in it that scrambles the date, tried to fix and failed, a look at the file size will have to do, but we will try to see a new copy has at least one byte more or less. Da -da 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 -da. Scrolling. Information about Project Gutenberg! One page. We produce about two million dollars for each hour we work. The fifty hours in one conservative estimate for how long we take to get any e-text selected, entered, and proofread, and edited, copyright searched, and analyzed, the copyright letters written, etc. The projected audience is a hundred million readers. If our value per text is nominally estimated at one dollar, then we produce four million dollars. Wow, that's odd because they have the dollar sign and then they write out dollars at the end. Weird. Per hour this year, as we release some eight text files per month, thus upping our productivity from two million dollars. The goal of Project Gutenberg is to give away one trillion e-text files by the December 31st, 2001. 10,000 times a trillion. Yeah. 100 billion. But numbers. No one likes numbers. This is 10,000 titles, each to 100 million subs at readers, not subscribers, which is 10% of the expected number of computer users by the end of the year 2001. Wow, this is old. We need your donations more than ever! It's in bold and caps, and it has an exclamation point at the end. All donations should be made to Project Gutenberg IBC, close quotations, and uh, are tax deductible to the ETA at extent uh, allowable by law. Parentheses. IBC is it Illinois Benedictine College. Close parentheticals. Period. Open parentheticals. Subscriptions to our papers letter go to IBC2. Close parenthetical. For these and other matters, please mail to Project Gutenberg, P.O. Box 2787, Champaign, Illinois, 61825. When all other email fails, try our Michael S. Hart Executive Director, colon, Hart at vmdcso.uiuc.edu, internet, Hart at uiucvmd, bitnet, et. We would prefer to send you this information by email. Parenthetical. Internet. Bitnet. Composer. ATT mail or MCL mail. If you have an FTP program or emulator, please FTP directly to the Project Gutenberg archives. Bracket. Mac users, do not point and click type. 
close bracket. Holy crap, there's more of this legal stuff. No, I'm going to skip this. Because it's boring. And because I'm going to die if I read any more of this. Okay, I will see you next time with the actual interesting text part. Which is meant to be read instead of this silly, silly legal five pages of small print, which is